Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving into the fascinating world of thyroid adrenal pancreas axis and how it relates to one of the most prevalent health issues we face today, especially in this channel, diabetes. We all know stress is a common culprit in our modern lives, but did you know that you can wreak havoc on not only our adrenal glands, but also our thyroid and pancreas? That's right, these three glands work together in a delicate balance that can become disrupted by various factors such as poor diet choices, infections, environmental toxins, all contributing to adrenal disorders. As a result, thyroid hormone imbalance can occur and the pancreas may struggle to regulate blood sugar levels. Ultimately, that will lead to development of diabetes. And if you have diabetes, it will make it worse. If you want to take charge of your health and understand this complex connection, keep watching. Now, chronically elevated cortisol levels from adrenal stress can lead to a decrease in insulin receptor sensitivity. This means that glucose, or blood sugar, cannot enter cells as easily as it should. The excess sugar that remains in the bloodstream then begins to convert to fat which is stored in areas such as the hips and thighs. The pancreas is then under increased stress as it works to produce more insulin to deal with the excess blood sugar. All of this can lead to a higher risk of diabetes or higher blood sugars. This is why the role of cortisol in blood sugar stability should be taken seriously for our overall health and well-being. Now, the relationship between adrenal dysfunction and blood sugar dysfunction can be a bit confusing sometimes. Some may ask which one comes first, but the truth is that it doesn't really matter. One starts to become imbalanced, the other follows suit. This is particularly important when it comes to diabetes treatment because both factors should be addressed simultaneously for the optimal results. Understanding this connection is essential in managing your diabetes effectively and mitigating it is many complications. As such, it is critical that individuals and professionals alike remain informed about that interplay between the adrenal gland, cortisol levels, and blood sugar dysfunction when devising any treatment plan. So what does any of this have to do with healthy thyroid function, right? Well, remember, the thyroid produces 90% inert T4 until it is activated primarily in the liver by an enzyme. Cortisol, on the other hand, directly inhibits this enzyme that works with thyroid, which is 5-diiodinase, converting inactive T4 into active T3. This, if you don't have that hormone in place working correctly, if the adrenal hormones cortisol is not helping the thyroid, that can contribute to the low T3 levels. Now, furthermore, I would say high cortisol levels, if it is too much, create thyroid hormone receptor insensitivity which means that even if T3 levels are acceptable, they may not be able to bind normally to the receptor sites. So cortisol will also boost the creation of inactive reverse T3, which then attaches to the T3 receptors, which are the real hormone that gets the job done, and preventing the T3 from having the cells function normally. This is where our thyroid adrenal support complex comes into play. Now, at Sugar MD, as you know, we have always carefully crafted formulas to help diabetics, and this supplement is new. We use natural ingredients and essential nutrients to enhance the support and function of these two glands, thyroid and adrenal. Now, to make it easier for you, our supplement is conveniently available on our website at sugarmds.com. 
by including our thyroid adrenal support complex in your daily routine, you can maintain the optimal health of your endocrine system and lead a happier and healthier life. Now, what are the ingredients? We have kelp, L-tyrosine, ashwagandha, cyan pepper, selenium, iodine. Our supplement is designed to provide comprehensive support for your thyroid and adrenal health. For example, kelp and iodine both play a crucial role in thyroid function, while cyan pepper and ashwagandha work together to promote healthy adrenal gland function. Additionally, selenium is essential for overall thyroid health and immune function. We even give selenium to our hyperthyroid patients and hypothyroid patients. In conclusion, it is important to take control of your health from every aspect holistically. Don't let imbalances in your thyroid and adrenal glands take away from your efforts to manage diabetes. Fortunately, there are resources available to help you understand the connection between these systems and how to address any issues that you may be experiencing today. Now, of course, one of the biggest sources is this YouTube channel and our website. So make sure to check out our website. You will gain valuable insights into optimizing your endocrine health and improving your overall well-being. So don't wait any longer. Take action today and invest in your health for a better tomorrow. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.